Yes, good evening. Oh, I'm happy to welcome you to this today's class of construction management two. Oh, we want to talk about the contract planning. And when we, when we talk about the contract planning, it simply means is the organizations of activities in logical thing manner in order to have a good planning. So you say contract planning, contract planning. See, this is the logical logical arrangement of activities of activities involves in a site involves in a site in order to prevent in order to prevent two activities two activities happening happening at the same at the same time or making uh, or making the contract time to delay or making construction construction process process to delay or making the construction process to delay so uh, for example you can be given you as the project manager you can be given a plan and uh, you are told that these projects should take about uh, you can be told by the clients that this is the plan that we want to construct then tell us how long will this hour will this project uh, take me as the client so you have to sit down and plan for these activities there are some activities that can be done at the same time and there are activities that cannot be done at the same, with other activities so you have to know that after doing this activity which activity should follow after the another then again we talk we can talk about stages of planning we can say stages of planning stages of planning construction or uh, stages of planning stages of planning so we can have a uh, three stages of planning we can have uh, which is called during the pretender again we can plan uh, what is at, at the tender uh, during the contract then again we can uh, plan after the contract or during the contract period when we talk about a uh, planning uh, before the tender tendering it means this is the time that we have not done anything so let's write stages of tendering stages of planning stages of planning so we can have pre during pre tendering then we have during uh, pre contract pre contract then we can have during the contract during the contract and what do you mean when you talk about uh, pre tendering planning say this is the pl this is the planning uh, that is done between the notifications of the inviting tenders and the submissions of the binds it means you have to plan before we invite the tenders and uh, the time these our tenders will submit their tender forms and say see pretender pretender uh, pretender planning see? this is the stage or the planning stop the planning that occurs that occurs between the time of inviting tenderers the time of inviting inviting tenderers to the time to the time of submission to the time of submissions so uh, in uh, we have activities that must be involved during the pretender planning so the following activities uh, will have to consider during pretender planning see activities activities to be done to be done during pre during pretender 
pretender planning during pretender planning so the basic activities for this one say we have to estimate the build-up then again we can have what is called the site visit reports when we say about the site visit reports it means that we go and see the site how these our sites look like then you, you advise uh, the clans on the uh, the type of the structure to be that can be constructed in this site again again you can say we can uh, give him the estimate then again you can talk about uh, another thing activity is the inquiry to the subcontract or suppliers then another activity we have method statement then we have estimate adjustment then we can have analysis of results so in the another type we talk about uh, contact during uh, pre-contact planning you can say you can have the pre-contact meeting where we talk about the pre-contact meeting it means this is a meeting uh, that we will have between the clients and the potential contact body and they have to give the, uh, the clients the good uh, plan for that suite is for her site then you can hold, again we can have the site layout planning then you can have the master program then we can have any other comments so the last uh, planning stage we have the contract planning we are during the contract planning or oh, these are the activity that majorly occurs during the contract planning it means at this time everything is in order and contract has been, we have our the contract and construction progress process is on so we can have monthly and weekly planning we are on the monthly and weekly planning the contractor has to give the clerk of work or the site agents all activities that he wish to be doing uh, to be doing for the entire week or for the entire month then again we can have the daily planning and talk about the word about the daily planning it means this is the activity that must be done on every day so at the end of the day we have to uh, ask the contractor if he or she has met whatever it said then we can have the progress report when we talk about the progress report we say we have to look at how this our project is uh, going then we can have the updated of the progress report maybe at this time it means we can have some activities that we have not completed then now we can yeah. go and look after so in the next class we'll be starting talking about the credit or uh, the calculation sheet and you have to know more about the calculation sheets. Thank you.